And yo, popcorn. China put your foot on the Gaza in the boy. Cause we know I see you. I said, oh, don't give fucking props back to Dan Sal and Reggae. Oh, oh, my bad. I heard it wrong. <laughs> it's Mautamasi, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. The 200 meter Olympic winner, Tebogo, had this to say about Usain Bolt. Check this out. Usain Bolt has been tweeting about you in the last 20 minutes, and he's been retweeting the video. What do you <laughs> have to say, and what do you think of Usain Bolt? Um, because he's my idol, of the person I look up to, I think it's a very good thing for me, for him to do that uh, uh, at my video. But I'm really grateful for him. Do you know him? I haven't met him personally, but I just know him from social media. How fast do you think you'd have to run before he'd want to meet you? Huh? How fast do you think uh, uh, you'd have to run before he agrees to meet you? I think breaking his world record, will, he will definitely have to uh, meet up with me. Do you think it's a possibility in the future for you? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a, it's a possibility. It's a 50-50 one because you never know what he's thinking back at home. But if he agrees, it will be a very great, uh, great pleasure for me to meet him. I hope one day he gets to meet you, saying Bolt, even if he not get for broke the record. Not too massive. <laughs> Bounty Killer is currently in Trinidad and Tobago and apparently he was having a rough time at customs. So he posted this video and he captioned it. Trinidad is a hard time them I try get the guard. Nine hours from last night them have me in an airport. Refused my entry and all that. Pure things. But general a general. The thing the normal. Thanks to the government of Jamaica. Andrew Holness. Daryl Vaz. All the immigrations at Piaco Airport who stayed up whole night to accommodate me johnny bravo bungee garlin fey and lions quest daniel and all the rest of my trini linky them bless up summer stage happy blaze Trinidad, ready for city God. yo johnny bravo go on to them have a clear me like a cargo salute what is it what do you got about wait for city well, we're glad that everything started out and in can go shell down the place at Trinidad, right? This video is on TikTok with Vibes Cartel bigging up the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Check this out. Yes, you're right. You know it's Vibes Cartel kicking it like Messi or Suarez representing for Ralph Gonzalez, the Prime Minister, a.k.a. the Vinci World Boss, the Five Star General. So now see up to the time, Mr. Gonzalez, you know we wishing you a happy birthday from Five Star Tell. No? Oh. Love them, tender touch them, different girl every day. Want well, to think massive? Want to think he know the prime minister personally, or was he paid to do this shout out? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. There's this mask man on TikTok. He's sending a message to various artists, including Popcorn. Where must say him need to stay up at the Gaza? Check this out. Yo, how you doing ya? You need to link up, daddy. Man, I want you to fuck your tail mouth in a bone. You need to circle and give daddy a link. Fresh drop. Come lay. You need to circle daddy. So daddy there road about a week and now I'm going to see a circle yet, you know. Da Vinci. Now make me have to tell you if you come circle daddy in you know, a boy. And you popcorn. Trying to put your foot on the Gaza in you know, a boy. Because we don't want to see you. Fresh drop. You hear that? Black right now. You can circle to you. And Sheba. Make sure you make them one know say and answer him you, you know. About that girl on daddy thing, you know. Make him one know now cause the man there run. Say and answer film. You hear that? World boss. One Gaza. One. Then this serious. This can't serious. Not show myself. Let's discuss why in the comment section below. 
In his debut Drink Champs interview, which aired on Saturday, August 10, with hosts Nori and DJ FN, Bojabanton criticized Afrobeats as uninspiring and failing to uplift people across Africa. Tell me one Afrobeat song that can uplift us, he said. Kenya is suffering. Young men in Kenya are revolting. South Africa, Sudan, South Sudan, everywhere is struggling. But which of these Afrobeat songs can relate to me for a peace of mind to tell me that we are in the struggle and even though it's hard we will overcome tell me why am i saving this them don't it but i think there is some truth to what Bujabantan is saying. In the midst of Afrobeat, you still have to have songs that inspire and uplift and talk about all the socioeconomic problems that Africans are facing. Like, oh, we have reggae, like, oh, we have Bujuan so Them need an artist like that for real. But anyways, Massive, let's discuss this in the comment section below. To, to reggae, to dance hall. Do they? <laughs> I thought I, I heard you so. say that. I don't think they did. No, I never said that. I oh, said they don't give fucking props back to dance hall and reggae. Oh, oh my bad. I heard it wrong. <laughs> it's I'm all the way in Jamaica and my, and my country and my people fight for free. You're a continent with word, sound, and power. And you have the ability now and all you're singing is fuckery. You don't sing a song to free Africa all now. Mm. We need them bringing this to the forefront of your mind, but we desire more from them. I want to see how ER sneaky in the viral clip in the interview on Friday night, Massive. Definitely, I have to put on the ring for now. She deserves it. You know what I mean? Come again, I trust and she preserves it. But Cartel not preserving his cool during a live Thursday with Aysat. Sending some choice words in the direction of his Turkish delight and not realizing everyone heard. Delete the Right now, me a one burner. One see them and never two. My kids, them and my grandkids are my biggest priority. I'm a fiance. So she pretty like Beyonce. Were you shocked to see it in the interview, Massive? Well, Vibes Cartel reacted to what ER did. Check this out. Bees, I can't do a video in peace. No, you can't. <laughs> Anthony Miller. I see a show a piece of the video where me a while up see them. Don't make she trick you, yeah? What? You're saying she get mad? She had no, she had chew a pot. She had chew a plate. Aye. She had chew a spoon. Uh-huh. She had chew the little plastic fork them. Uh-huh. She had chew a napkin. Nobody up here no man, I'm a little terrorist. For you, innit? They can't chew me, go away. I'm out. <laughs> Jump off a bad energy. Whoop. Miss me with your negativity. Whoop. I saw me say it after the liberty. Whoop. Whoop. Me jump up in a prosperity. Spice, the queen of dance hall, returns with her third studio album, Mirror 25. This 26 track blue theme project features 25 songs and a 3 minute, 18 second intro that pays homage to the queen, including shout outs from Bounty Killer, Baby Sham, Vibes Cartel, Buster Rhymes, Shaggy. Nicki Minaj and Pampute. It debuted at number two in the USA all genres chart. My album is number two on iTunes, all genre, not reggae, all genre. And it right just drops. And, and, and it just drops. Yeah. 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 So that's it for today, Massive Montana. Big up on a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the Massive. I'm out of Massey, Magan. Mount a Massey, Mount a Massey, covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe now. now. now.